It's a new month, which means a new nerd block and loot crate is hitting people's doorsteps right about now. So for those who don't know what loot crate and nerd block is, is their monthly services that deliver a box of geeky goodness to your doorsteps every single month. Uh, each does a theme of the month, you know, for the months. So you kind of get a somewhat of a sense of what you're going to get, but you never know the specific items. Uh, this month, we have two themes that couldn't be more different apart. Uh, so we've got Loot Crate, which has a theme of cyber, and NerdBlock's theme is British Invasion. Uh, we'll go over the NerdBlock one first uh, to kind of recap what you get. So you get the large uh, Doctor Who Titan figure. We have a Mr. Bean bendable figure. We have a little teddy bear from Mr. Bean. Uh, we also have a Monty Python um, word thing for your refrigerator. We have a t-shirt from Sherlock that's an exclusive, exclusive that says board. And then we've kind of got the Doctor Who uh, uh, print, I guess, if you want to call it. Over here on the Cyber for Loot Crate, we have a Borders Lands um, mat. They call it a mat. It's really just a... Uh, uh, a uh, mouse pad. We've got, of course, the books that comes with it and the uh, the button that comes with every single month. We have this pouch that has a uh, cybernetic pattern to it. Um, some stickers from Nerd HQ. An Optimus Prime that just says Prime Tron Mixed T-shirt uh, patch. Uh, we then we've got from Terminator a uh, half scale endo skull as well as a uh, brain chip. Um, keychain and then finally some uh, Battlestar Galactica rain sheet for those that want to take shots at uh, characters from there. So yeah, um, both of these boxes I'm kind of not super impressed with either of them to be honest with you. Uh, out of the two, I mean my favorite items, my favorite item is Mr. Bean's uh, uh, bear. I mean I, I grew up watching Mr. Bean. I love uh, Rowan Atkinson's TV series, so to get the bear is really, really cool. It's an item I'm absolutely keeping for myself. Um, out of the two t-shirts, I think the Prime shirt's actually pretty cool. It's one I more likely would wear around, maybe not by its own, but, you know, with the shirt over top, like a, a long sleeve shirt over a top, I think it would be pretty cool. Um, the, the items that I'm, you know, not too dig in, the, the uh, stickers, I think, are pretty piss poor. Uh, the The Rain Sheet from Battlestar Galactica is kind of blah. The print from Doctor Who is pretty blah. Um, the Mr. Bean Bendable figure, I'm probably going to get rid of. Uh, and then we have the two figures, the uh, Skull from Terminator, the Doctor Who Titans figures. Uh, neither of them I'm too impressed in. Um, while I like Doctor Who and I like Terminator, you know, I'm just not a huge figure uh, collector of that type. So both of them, eh. Uh, the keychain is pretty cool. It's actually really hefty. So... Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, out of everything, the one I'm probably going to get a lot of use out of is this bag. Uh, the patch I could have done without, and the uh, the magnets will definitely go on the uh, refrigerator. We should have some fun with that. Uh, the thing I'm kind of noticing uh, with a lot of these is as Loot Crate and NerdBlock are you know, really, really popular, they're putting in a lot more chintzy items. Uh, the stickers, for instance, the print. The uh, range sheet, I, I consider all those pretty ch chintzy cheap items. You know, each are going to be less than a dollar to produce probably. Um, you can tell that they're like fillers to, to make it seem like you're getting more. Um, but, you know, as, as more folks are signing up for some reason, we're getting more of those type items instead of better items. Um, so I'm kind of eh on the whole thing. Um, both these boxes, I'm, I'm going with their pretty piss poor uh, out of the two I don't know I'm gonna call it a tie honestly I'm just gonna go with a tie with both of them um, neither one I'm, I'm super impressed with I mean my favorite items the bear out of everything I'll probably I'll keep the t-shirt I'll use the the bag um, and I'll take the uh, the magnets and, and definitely put it up the rest of it to me is, is eBay fodder um, or giveaway as a gift so overall um, two boxes that I'm not too impressed with. Um, there's definitely been better months. I'm going to call it a tie just because I'm fairly unimpressed with both of them. It is what it is. Uh, on next month, hopefully we'll get something better. Um, it looks like we're going to kind of get very similar themes for both of them. They all seem to kind of have heroes as part of them. Um, so we'll, we'll see and uh, check it out. It should be kind of interesting to see what we get next month. But you can't win them all. It is what it is. 
So until next month, I'm Brett. This is Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. You can catch us every single day, of course, at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all at Graphic Policy. We keep it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep it geeky.